Well, that's right. Still no verdict yet in this case. Uh, the jury uh, broke for recess for the night about an hour ago, so things will pick up again tomorrow. But right now they have a lot to consider. Hours of testimony, closing arguments from both attorneys and new tonight testimony from Robert Rosario himself. Did you have uh, sex without her consent? No, I did not. Robert Rosario began his testimony Thursday telling the jury he's not a rapist and what his accuser says happened inside a courthouse bathroom on October 16, 2015 isn't true. I was at the courthouse uh, around the clerk's office on my phone and I was approached by her. Rosario claims that Jessica Goulet approached him in Burlington's Costello Courthouse that day. He didn't deny the two had sex, but says it was consensual and for a very specific reason. She asked me if I had tickets. Okay, and what do you, do you what does tickets mean? Tickets is a, it's a street term for heroin. Rosario testified Goulet did it in hopes of getting heroin from him in return. But in closing arguments, the prosecutor told the jury that Rosario's story wasn't very believable, especially because of how distraught Goulet looked afterwards. Is this the kind of behavior consistent with someone who is upset because they were gypped out of some drugs? And if it was consensual, why did it happen in a courthouse bathroom? They could have gone anywhere they wanted and had sex if Jesse had actually wanted to have sex. But in the defense's closing arguments, his attorney said the proof it was really rape just isn't there. There's no laboratory evidence, there's no fingerprint evidence, there's no medical evidence, there's no DNA evidence, there's nothing. And again, things will pick up again early tomorrow morning. The jury is set to re-listen to Robert Rosario's testimony and then continue their deliberations. NBC5 will be following this trial, so keep up with us for all the latest updates. For now, live in Hyde Park, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.